Hey guys, uh, Cyrus here with another Minecraft Redstone tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make more compact gates using pistons. Um, I actually found these gates on a forum thread in, uh, on the Minecraft forum, so I'll link you that in the description so the author gets his credit. Um, so our first gate is going to be a more compact AND gate. So a normal AND gate looks like this. So you're going to have... Um, I probably shouldn't use red for the wire, but whatever. Um, whoops. It'll look something like this. And let's get our levers. In order for the output to be turned on, you have to have both inputs on. Like A and B have to be on. If only one of them is on, the output will be off. If both of them are off, the output will be off. So right now, this is a, let's count it as 1, 2, 3 by 1, 2, 3 by 1, 2. So it's 3 by 3 by 2, which is uh, decently big, and if you're trying to place a structure up here, you can't do it because the redstone will be turned on due to this light, so it'll be affected. So um, a more compact version is right here. Uh, same concept, turn it on. You need both of them to be on in order for the door to open. If just one of them's on, it won't work. And this is how you build it. So you have your two inputs right here. Comes to a redstone repeater right here. A sticky piston facing this way with a block attached to it. And your output is right here. And it's pretty simple how it works. When you turn this on, a current is going from here and wants to reach the door, but there's nothing right here for uh, the current to travel through. So once you turn this guy on, it puts the block here, which allows the current to flow through the block and reach the door. So a so, uh, note is uh, redstone current does go through blocks, um, and it can travel through one block. Uh, so that's the more compact AND gate. Here is the RS NOR latch. So, an RS NOR latch, let me explain. Uh, a normal one will look something like this. So, we're going to place these two here, this here, and that there. And it'll have one input here, and one input over here. Uh, shoot, whatever. Um, and, the way it works is if I was to send a current into this input, actually, let's make it a button. I'll also send a current into this input right here. What it does is it toggles to this side. Uh, so the current is now coming out through this side and the current over here is off. And if I was to send a current through here, it'll toggle to the other side. Um, and that's basically what it is. It's a toggle uh, latch and, uh, let's see, that, I mean that, that's basically all there is to it. So over here, what you have is on one side, or it's basically a toggle. So right now it's off, and right now it's on. So if we're taking this as the output, if we press this button over here, we'll call this the switch. It turns it on. The output is now on. And we'll call this one over here the reset, and it resets it to off. And that's basically what this is. Right here we have the switch, which will turn it on and the reset, which will turn it off. And the way it works is you have your... Let's see, I feel like this should be right there. There we go. Anyways, you have your button right here on a block and a button right here on a block. And it inputs to a redstone wire here, which goes to a sticky piston facing this way, which is... Oh. connected to a block right here and you have a torch attached to this side of the uh, one of the buttons and then a redstone repeater right here which carries the current from here to the door and a uh, redstone wire right here and when you press this button it'll go through this redstone wire um, yeah it'll go through this redstone wire and it'll uh, come to this piston, extend, grab this guy, and pull him back into the current. Boom. Switch is now on. Now when you press this guy, it extends this piston, grabs the block right here, and pulls it back. Uh, 
turning off this current and making it so you can't reach the door. So that's the more compact RS NOR latch. Now we have one more over here, which is the XOR gate. That means it's it, it's called an exclusive OR gate, and it only works when one the or the output is only on if only one input is on. So if we turn on one input, it's now on. If we turn on two, it's off. If we only again one again on both off off, and a normal one takes up about a five by five grid, and we'll make it so. One, two, one, two. So these are the inputs right here. Um, let me just boom and boom. Then you have your right there, right there, right there. Redstone, redstone, redstone. And your output is anywhere off of here. So we'll just make it come off of here. And if you turn on, again, same thing. Outputs on, outputs off. Outputs on, outputs off, but this is, takes up a lot of space. So this one, way, way smaller. Um, what it has is your two uh, inputs right here. You have a redstone torch right here, and a redstone torch in the back of this guy. You have two redstone repeaters facing this way. Um, a block right here attached to a sticky piston, which is facing this way. And then you need your two redstone wires right here and then your output can come off of any of them. So I'm just bringing my output off of this one. And the way it works is if you turn this guy on, boom, it switches the current on this torch, uh, and that then activates this redstone repeater, which then goes through this block and goes over here into the door. Now, if you were to turn on the other one, it turns on this piston, which pushes it away out of, out of this current so the current can't travel through here. Now, if we uh, only push this one, it pushes the current, and now the current's traveling through this block into here, through this block into here, and out into the door. And that's how the exclusive OR gate works. Now, that's all the gates I have for this tutorial. Um, if you want more, I can make uh, more compact gates. Um, I have a new design for a calculator, which uh, I also got off of this place, so this right now, I'll just give you a quick uh, little tour, is a 3-bit calculator using binary, so if you do 1 plus 1, you get 2. You get, uh, if you want to do 1, 1, which is the equivalent of 3, plus 1, or how about let's do plus 2, you get 1, 0, 1, which is the equivalent of 5, so that's 3 plus 2 equals 5. So, um, I guess I'll see you guys later, uh, I'll put the link in the description, and have a good day.